Hey, I'll strike metals here. Today I will be making mixed assorted jewellery. I've been making a lot of mass production stuff. So today I'll be making four helix necklaces with textured jade charms and ten pairs of silver sterling silver 925 necklaces. All sorts here, we've got black oynix, Indian agate, hematite and Swarovski cobalt crystals, jasper and the same, kyanite crystals, very pretty, and purple ones. Here we have moss tree agate, more jasper, fluorite, and a mixture of hematite and tree agate again. So all them will be made. Today. Check out some of the other stuff I'll be making. Four necklaces, Tree of Life, Kyanite, and a Mobius chair. Here we have a mass of copper necklaces, uh, earrings, all different stuff. We got rose quartz there. Tiger's Eye, Jasper, Tree Gate, Hematite, Kyanite. So, quite a bit. All these are sustainable copper, all of it. I mined it myself, I can prove that. Here we have bracelets. I've been making quite a lot of bracelets, as you can see, all up on the rack. More bracelets, copper pin bracelets with clasps. Obviously, all this will be sold. It's going to take me a very long time to list it all. However, pair after pair of earrings. Anyway, let's make some jewelry. Oops, I hate this phone stand. It's always tricky to set. Here we go. Focus. Good angle going. Cool. <coughs> we'll be needing some jump rings to do this. So these are 925 gold plated hoops, going for the Indian A-gate first. Obviously this has taken a while to make all this massive jewellery as you see. Plan on listing it all for sale on my eBay store plus hundreds, hundreds of other items. It's going to take me probably weeks to do. So I'm going to have to cut. There's no way I could do it all at once because I'm also planning on selling all of my bullion. That's all of the metal that I've poured over the years. Which will be a lot worth. Sell it for specific use stuff. Like CNC machining or bullion stacking. Things like that. Black boy nix here. And put some dangly charm bits on them also. These are just the stoppers for adjustable bracelets. Not their intended use, but it is if you're me. <laughs> Bad cuts all over my hands from making stuff. Sorry about that. Always doing stuff so covered in scratches and cuts from the hopper. It does happen. It burns from pliers, squishing. You get used to it. It's 
take a few days to make all this. I also have a lot of charms by here, I've never actually showed them. I've got a bunch of charms also. Among the bracelets, the necklaces and earrings. As one of my subscribers suggested, I should probably make some copper bangles. Because I've got loads of copper bracelets. But I'm not making any single piece bangles, even though I probably could. So why aren't I? Good suggestion. Which I will likely do in the future, as I have buckets of copper. Pounds, as I showed in a recent video. As a result of stripping many, many meters of mains wire. Of electronics that were destined for landfill, I guess. All well, the streets smashed up by angry children. <laughs> so, got Trier Gate there, Black Onyx, and Moss Tree A Gate. I know, strange names, but all of these are different. So I'm going to have to list them individually, which is going to be a nightmare. Since there are a hundred plus pair of hearing earrings by the time I'm done. I'm already at, well, by the time I finish this, it will be 54 pairs of earrings. No, 64 pairs of earrings, which is 128 individual parts. So that's quite a lot of earrings. These are my highly magnetic hematite. They always stick to one another. That won't be a problem when it's separated on people's ears. Unless some metal comes near your head, I suppose. In which case your earrings are going to stick to them. But that's a funky feature, if any. Cobalt and Jasper. Got to be careful as these rings are actually stainless steel plated with silver. The strength, otherwise it'll just rip off. That silver is this thinness is quite weak. So to add some rigidity and durability to my jewellery. Add some steel components, as long as it's plated with the appropriate material, that is. Go for these Jasper ones now. It appears that that hoop isn't fully closed and no things coming out. There we go. Once I've done these, I'll do the four pairs of necklaces with textured jade charms. Textured them up on an anvil myself. Pretty sure I have a video of that somewhere. Amongst my hundreds of videos. I think I've got a lot going on for 500 videos by now, something like that. A lot. actually getting quite difficult for me to find my own videos in the pile of videos in the um, playlist that's the word I'm looking for this is fluorite always pretty material fluorite it's also got some gold beads on the end some extra snazzy shininess. 
kyanite now. That hoop's too big on that one. Very pretty stone kyanite. It's sort of bluish purple strangeness. It's quite fragile a stone to work though. Broken a few. Being me. Used to tearing things apart, not just making fragile stuff. So they're both sometimes a be difficult. Let's have a little close up of them, I think, because they're very pretty. Back to it. Got tangled though. Don't want that. All these will be have to be individually sold. It's going to take a long time. Last two pair of earrings, which will be a double. These two will be on the same listing. These are both the same type of earring and design. Mostria gate and Hematite magnetic. pile of earrings following me here. These are the ones that I'm making at the moment. These are all sterling silver gold plated hoops. They're all very nice. Fine. Well these copper ones are quite a bit thicker but no less quality. And it's all sustainable also. Cycling is good. Especially if you know what you're doing. Since pretty much all of this copper, yep, all of this copper, mine by me. Electronics, e waste materials, and such. Actually, don't buy any at all. It's great for maximizing things like profit. And I also make some pretty nice stuff for them, so it's all good. And this is what I usually do. Make loads of jewelry and also pour metal, but the weather is decidedly not nice today. Although that lettuce is coming along lovely and all my succulents. <laughs> I know, funky faces on the pots, quite cool. Necklaces here now. Try and focus on that. These will be 18 inch necklaces. And in a helix design, by that I mean. Look at that. It's a helix. Like a DNA chain. That sort of helix. So, I'm going to assemble these. These are made at an earlier time, obviously, the same video time. I'm just going to a long time this video otherwise if I were to try it otherwise one more section still need a clasp but that will be the clasp there Got four of these to make mind you Ooh, 
chain. Very nicely orientated. Put that on one. Okay, that one. Difficult to orientate these correctly sometimes, as you can see. Very tricky also since you have to get it in line with the others. So there's the 18 inch helix chain made. Clasp to that. Very simple sliding clasp, also made from sustainable copper. There's the clasp attached, and the 18 inch necklace is complete. I'm going to put a charm on that now. This hoop, another jump ring for that. I want it to extend slightly, and there's the jade necklace. Be making a few of these so you'll have a good chance to buy one if you want. There will be other designs also that I have over here and I showed at the beginning of the video. I actually used all of this pot of 10mm jump rings making all these chains. But I do have all these pots of jump rings to go. Make much more chain. So quite a lot left to do. I've made enough bracelets, but I need to make a lot more necklaces. Which is what I am doing. These are heavy gauge necklaces, these ones. I also have a lot of heavy gauge bracelets here, rolling bracelets, got another helix bracelet there, lots and lots of plain ones, and these Celtic ones, which I will likely lower the price on. Looks like it'll probably take about £10 for each one. At the moment, this is, I sell them for about 15 something like that. I'm not actually sure, I haven't looked in a while. Really busy. Now I'm even more busy. Not taking as long as I thought it would to do these. No, I am powering through it as quick as I can. Straighten that up a little bit, it's a bit wonky. Chain complete. The charm and clasp. Not sure what people can put it on. Maybe with slightly sharp these can, but it's sustainable copper after all. Easily fixed anyway. There is some sharpness encountered. nail clippers and an emery board or some such. There's the next. Lovely these jade necklaces. Yeah, two dicks. Put 
so eight necklaces made. Yeah. So I'm done with these. As I said, I'll be selling all this, but I have lots, lots more to do. And another perhaps 40 pairs of earrings to make. Here are the charms for that. Shiny, aren't they? No. Right. Where was I? Back to making these beginning helix necklaces. Or spirals, or whatever you want to call them. I think the appropriate name would be Singapore Weave. Turkey jewelry turns. If you're looking for someone else to make a video of these, although I do have a tutorial on how to make this necklace, along with many, many other styles. Keeping with the plain stuff at the moment though, rather than going overly complex, which I could do, which is very time consuming. I've done it before. If I were to make something like a Byzantine chain, which I might do sometime, it would take a considerable effort and I'd have to charge hundreds and hundreds of pounds for that. Which would decrease its likeliness of selling, not increase. I find it's better to sell many okay to quality items. These at a good price, otherwise they just won't sell. But I saw quite a few. I sell all sorts actually, in truth. Vast mix of materials, electronics, jewellery, bullion, odds and ends, things I don't need anymore also. Even materials to make your own jewellery, sell the whole thing. Maybe make some kits in the future though. Jewelry making kits, totally sustainable components only. Very similar to these. Let me show you this. Probably make kits like that. This is all textured jewelry. All the copper being textured upon anvil. There's all different shapes and sizes and lots and lots of earring for this thing. So I'd probably sell kits like that. Just need to get some more of them boxes. So I use up them multiple multi-storied boxes quite a lot. Oh, yeah, that's not right. Am I missing one? I think you're missing a split ring. I know. I don't know if you put that on my one. There, you can see that. Didn't finish the linkage. But, uh -huh. right, next, that will be the final necklace, and then I'll have a look at all the shiny stuff. Before I end the video. Okay. Um, 
tricky to line these up properly. Turning into an orbit rather than a gotcha. Haha. -ha. So a slight difference between doing a uh, spherical orbit shape and helix shape. It's a very slight offset on the chain, on the angles. Difficult to perceive, even. And that's the last one done. More necklaces to be made. Is that off video? It's just showing some of this mass production that I'm doing. I'll probably do some crafts next. So I have lots and lots of candle wax saved up. I want to make some big candles from it. Should be fun. 